Explosions lit up the night sky over Beirut as Israel expanded its bombardment in Lebanon on Saturday. It hit Beirut's southern suburbs and struck a Palestinian refugee camp deep in the north for the first time as it targeted both Hezbollah and Hamas fighters. Thousands of people in Lebanon, including Palestinian refugees, continued to flee the widening conflict in the region, while rallies were held around the world marking the approaching anniversary of the start of the war in Gaza. Israel's attack on the northern Bedouin camp killed an official with Hamas military wing along with his wife and two young daughters, the Palestinian militant group said. Hamas later said another military wing member was killed in Israeli strikes in Lebanon's eastern Bekaa Valley. Israel's military said it killed two senior officials with Hamas military wing in Lebanon, where fighting has sharply escalated. Israel has killed several Hamas officials there since the Israel-Hamas war began, in addition to most of the top leadership of the Lebanon-based Hezbollah. At least 1,400 Lebanese, including civilians, medics and Hezbollah fighters, have been killed and 1.2 million driven from their homes in less than two weeks. An Israeli attack helicopter was seen firing missiles on Friday at the Lebanese border with the country, followed by smoke rising from southern Lebanon. Israel also carried out another series of punishing airstrikes earlier Friday, hitting suburban Beirut and cutting off the main border crossing between Lebanon and Syria for tens of thousands of people fleeing the Israeli bombardment of the Hezbollah militant group. Some 1,400 Lebanese, including Hezbollah fighters and civilians, have been killed and some 1.2 million driven from their homes since Israel escalated its strikes in late September aiming to cripple Hezbollah and push it away from the country's shared border. Israel has launched a ground incursion into Lebanon against the Hezbollah militant group while also conducting strikes in Gaza. Hezbollah and Israel have traded fire across the Lebanon border almost daily since the day after Hamas cross-border attack on October 7, 2023 which killed 1,200 Israelis and took 250 others hostage. Since then, more than 41,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza and nearly 2,000 people have been killed in Lebanon. Actually, there is a restaurant. 
Yeah, so then, yeah, we can kind of... Thank you. 